welcome in this video we are going to see how to create a location in fusion procurement so let's go to the setup so we go to setup and maintenance from the home window or you can also access the setup and maintenance from the navigator which is on the top this is called a navigator so you click here and then go to others in the very bottom and then you can access setup and maintenance from here as well so then we'll go to procurement right here so the locations are in the enterprise profile so you go and create locations so now what are locations so locations are actually physical addresses from for all your addresses uh, stored in the system so a location can be a, a location where uh, people do exist and procure goods and have them delivered to that location the location can be an address for an inventory warehouse a location can be an address for your manufacturing facility a location can be an address for a distribution warehouse or a location can be an address of your corporate head office so everything is defined as a location so you need locations in procurement for you to order the goods and have it delivered to them so if i just uh, look at what exists so i can put in the us and click on search so you will see these two locations which start with us came up but now we are going to create a new location so to create a new location you can do create here using this click icon or you can create them in spreadsheets so at the time of implementation when you want to do like a bulk load you would click that manage in spreadsheet it will download a spreadsheet for you you fill in the information and then you can create those locations in a more automated way but for now we are going to click the do the manual option and i am going to click on create so once i click create i will see some basic details on the location so um, the location set so location set uh, is like a reference data set so if you put if you put a location in a particular set then all the business units all the procurement business units or all the procurement entities which have access to that set will be able to see that location if you put them in common set then that location would be accessible to all the entities or all the business units in your um, application so for now i want to make this as a, a us location so i'm going to say us one location set okay so i am going to call the location as lf01 location okay and then i'm going to give a code as lf01c for location and i'm going to say lf location for procurement and then my country is united states <clears throat> i'm going to three put one two three mango lane and i'm going to put a zip code of uh, um, 92618 for example and then it just press a tab out it will show me addresses automatically and then i will select the relevant address city state and zip based on the pop, pop list of values So this instance take a little bit more time, but then that's fine. So okay, so it popped in the state is California, city is Irvine, county is Orange County. Now you can fill in other information if you want to, but then the next important thing is is the ship to site? Yes. So what this means is, am I going to use this location for receiving any shipment? So I'm going to say yes. So as soon as I select ship to site as yes, it becomes a receiving site as well and this site can be used for billing purposes for the suppliers as well 
so these are the important things you would fill in and then you can fill in some other information but that's not required at this point so this is what we need and then I'm going to say submit you can say review but I'm just going to say submit so it's going to submit a job in the background and I'm going to say yes so then the request was submitted I'll say okay now if I go in and sell say LF just put in just these two words I should see my new location being created already so LF01 location it's ready to be used for my procurement activities so that's about it um, so this is how you would create and maintain locations in procurement thank you